Welcome back to the last day of our Super Adobe Dome workshop. Now, if you're just joining us, we're partnering with Hayden from Curva Texture, and we are building a small nine foot Super Adobe Dome home here on our property, and we're bringing along an incredible group of people along the way. It is a seven day workshop, and the goal is to cap the dome on the last day, which is today. <laughs> do you think we can do it? Let's find out. It's the last day of the Super W workshop. Look at this dome. Just, just look at it. Look how far we've come in six days. I think we're gonna get it capped. Let's see what everybody else thinks. Are we getting it done today? You betcha. <laughs> you day six, seven, seven, day seven. We're losing track. Look at this. Come on. It's going great. Everyone's awesome. I'm not that tired. I'm pretty tired, but we're all good. <laughs> look at the eyebrows. I know. They're they so look cool. so good. Eyebrows are great. We're going to finish the buttress today. Then we're going to cap it all the way to the top. I'm just going to circle it all the way <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Dome done today? Yeah, I really do think so. I think we might end up staying a little late again. Yeah. But I do think that we can cap it today. Yeah. <sighs> Dudes! Dudes! What do you think? Are we going to get it done? You would think after six days of showing up every morning at 7.30 and laying bags all day that our weekly Tiny Shiny Dummies uh, would not be here so early. But every time I go down to open the gate, they're already waiting for me. Amazing. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna circle up. Yeah, we're gonna circle up. Since you're here for the first time, ask as many questions as you need to, and we'll try to catch you up on what the heck we're doing because we're we're pretty knee deep in it at this point. We're gonna be moving fast because the goal is we want to get the dome capped by the end of the day. Doable, we can do it. Doable. <laughs> we're all very committed. Uh, we may be staying late. We may be having a fire. We'll see what happens, having a fire. see where the night takes us. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to say, we are just so humbled that you guys all came out here and to see this little community form has just been so incredible. Um, and to watch everybody just gel together and everybody start to open up and just really start to connect with each other has just been, uh, it's been the best workshop we've ever done. I can tell you that. I think we'll be doing longer workshops from here on out because we see those connections that form and they don't form in a day or two. Aiden's been rocking it. He's, if we're doing another workshop, we're gonna have to up our workshop games because <laughs> this guy. Oh, just come back. He, yeah, well, that's, that's fine too. Anytime. Uh, he, I don't think I've ever seen anybody run something like this where he's so attentive to everybody. He makes sure everybody's included and that they're doing something and they feel like they have a job and they know what they need to do and he takes the time to explain to everybody. I am uh, definitely blown away by his expertise and just the way that he's able to run this workshop. Um, so thank you so much uh, for coming all the way across the world <laughs> to our little homestead to do this amazing thing. We're, we're just, we're honored and humbled that you're here. Thank you, Jonathan. So I'm going to hand it out to Hayden and he's going to tell you what we're doing and uh, we'll get going. Stop. You're not crying, you're crying. <laughs> yeah, that's a great no, that was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just so humbled as well, you know, like this is ten years, tenth year of 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 running these things and yeah, people just keep turning up. It's the antidote to to all the all the craziness in the world. I hope you felt a little bit of that magic uh, as well that's just somehow inside these bags. Like I do not understand it. So we're gonna be 
pretty wild up there today. We're going to be throwing buckets because that's the thing to do. Welcome to the newbies. Thank you for joining for the last day. You're here for the, you're here for the glory, you know, I don't know what to call it, but you're here for that last stroke and we're going to get it done. building well we're building hand holds to climb up on the dome so we need some little pieces of rebar yay won't you have to bend it no it's gonna be held in place by the wall and then we're gonna put little cement balls on it that you can grab and step on that doesn't make any sense well if you just stick a ball to the wall and then you try to step on it eventually it's gonna come off but not if you have a piece of rebar held down by the bag sticking out and then you put the ball on top of it and that way it's it's never going to come out okay okay so here we're doing the compass it's been set for this row but here above windows things start getting a little bit wild We've done an eyebrow, so the eyebrow has lent out of the window. So as we come to the form, our bags want to move outwards with it. So they want to move out from the uh, circle of the center compass. But now we're slowly bringing it back in over a few layers. You never want to make a major adjustment in one layer with Super Adobe because it means that you're going to be compromising the contact the bag has with the previous layer too much because you've come in too much. So here, we get, we're finally getting close again, getting close to this being bang on. So it'll still be a little bit incorrect. It'll still be a little bit further out this layer, but by this next layer, we should be able to get a perfect circle from our compass. Go team. See now here, we're really getting into the top third of the dome. So that's where it starts coming in the most and where it starts becoming a little bit scary. Now only ever judge from the inside because the outside's going to look very variable as it comes in differently. So the outside often looks more scary than the inside. So just always be confident with the inside. We've gone stabilized above here. So stabilized mixed above all the windows because they're our areas where they come in the most. And then everything else is just gradually coming in. And it's a real risk as you're laying and vortexing, you're twisting the bag. The, 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 the few feet or the meter behind it will want to roll in more and more. So you have to be constantly recompassing, constantly rechecking as you go. So yeah, stay safe take it really slow especially up here have a few people up there help hold the bag help pull it in help adjust the bag make sure it doesn't come in on you and always make sure the barbed wire is in contact with both the top and the bottom bag yeah Ew. <laughs> Swing. That was awful. I don't want to hit Clark. Look at this peaceful little face.
go. We all, we all ready to dance? Yeah, baby. Right. We invited some special guests and Hayden doesn't know about it. And I'm just so excited to see his reaction. Hayden! You guys have a UFO landing on your place. Yeah. Holy <laughs> Hello. Hayden, they came to see you. Oh, I love that. It's so cute. <laughs> no way. This dome is really cool. I want to swear so much. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm Hayden. Oh, Are you all Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I've been Especially watching you guys for maybe 10 years, I reckon. Wow, thank you. Yeah, all the way since the first. From Austra You're from Australia? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, wow. so cool. From, I think, the first time you did the um, paper bag floor on the patio. Oh. So the patio. Oh, yeah. that's a long time. Yeah. I, this <laughs> is wild. So yeah, I've been following these guys as well. Oh, did you build uh, this? Really, we've been building it, yeah. Oh, that so is so cute. Cute. Today's the last day. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So today's the last afternoon, so we've just done like three layers this morning. And we're gonna cap it by, I don't know, maybe evening today. Sweet. Wonderful. Yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> After I'm, lunch, how many? This is it. Like this, this is, is the it. final push. The final countdown. Mm -hmm. I wish we could use that song. That would be so great. Uh, yeah, this is it. Like we got to get this done. <laughs> Things are happening. Are you so excited, Hayden? I am beyond excited. This is an absolute dream. Can, can, can we get a selfie together? Holy moly, look at this. I mean, how many layers do you think we got left? Three, four, five? I don't know. I mean, it's so small up there, and it just keeps getting smaller as it steps in. It's crazy. It's crazy. We're gonna get it done before the storm. <laughs> it's not a storm. It looks like a storm. It's not a storm. It's just clouds. Everything's okay. fine.
So now we're way up here. We're probably maybe four or five layers from totally finished. And the system is still exactly the same with the fixed compass. We're just coming in much more now. So I've got my crosshairs here on my dummy bag and I'm just gonna inch it in. Now we're way on center. Very nice. Plumb bob's looking good. We can go that way but with the chain. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yep, perfect. Beautiful. I'm just gonna make that kiss right there, just like usual, fixed compass kissing right there. Give it a nice big tug. We're good? Looking good. Great. Right. So we've changed that information over onto here. And then now when we're laying, we need to be laying much more slowly, much more controlled. The barbed wire has now moved to the inner edge and we've got two rows as well. So it's on the inner edge just to help stop that bag moving in. And we just need to be really careful with the vortex because if you over vortex, it's gonna roll in more. So now it's really coming in and it looks really scary. It looks really unnatural, like it shouldn't be happening. But because the rows are coming up, they're self-supporting each other once they've started to be tamped. When they're untamped, they're still dangerous and can still come in. So you gotta watch that and you gotta tamp almost as you lay. That really helps. So you compass as you lay and tamp basically just behind the layer. We don't worry about it. We know it's all good. We just keep on vibing, dancing to the moon. We don't worry about it. We know it's all fine. We just keep this party till we see the sun. Yeah, we don't worry about the lights, moonbeams. Only got you and me. Feels like it's new. Yeah, baby. We don't worry about it. We know it's all fine. We just keep this party till we see the sun. Yeah, we don't worry about it. We don't worry about it. No, we don't worry. Why don't we get lost in the moment and leave the world on hold? Cause it's so rare. Take a time like we're on the slow burn. Throw our feelings out.
looks like a donut door. That's cute, isn't it? I'm going yeah, through. Right. Thank you. Wow. That's the door. <laughs> no, I, I probably won't. Dog Watch, look inside. Look. Oh, I'll tip to take these out. Oh, Chima. Who's in there? So good. Well, welcome everybody to the end of the dome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a really nice idea. Often we do a really nice sharing circle at the end. Um, we just pass it around. You can share a little or you can share a lot. Um, and yeah, just really would love love to hear how, how, how people are feeling and um, and yeah, you can literally just say anything you want. Really. It's just been really, really, really powerful for me. It's been incredibly surreal. This work is so emotional for me and it's got so much tied in for me. And yeah, this was just an absolutely perfect way to celebrate 10 years um, of doing this stuff. So thank you so much. Oh, Ocho doesn't like clapping. You can't clap. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Little claps. I think a lot of times, that even though, you know, you read comments online and, like, you know that there's people out there, uh, I think sometimes that gets lost in translation. And so having a, a full week like this where everyone comes together, like you said, I mean, just works their butts off. I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you um, for coming over here. And, I mean, look what you did. Like, that's incredible. It's just incredible. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to do it again after we've had a rest. <laughs> uh, but hopefully we'll do this again soon. So thank you. In case you couldn't tell, around day six and seven is when everybody started getting a little emotional. You know, we have spent a lot of hours together, we've watched the progress, we've become a community, and it was all coming to an end and we just didn't want it to. As everyone started sharing what this workshop had meant to them, we knew it was time to turn off the camera and keep that moment for everyone there. We can tell you that it was full of laughter, tears, and hope, and it was so very special. Thank you again to everyone who came out for the week, and especially thank you to the man, the myth, the legend, Hayden. Yeah, he not only ran this workshop like a boss, but he's using everything we filmed and he is launching a brand new online Super Adobe course for free. What? We'll let him explain. It's been my dream for a really long time to build a free online Super Adobe and Earthbag building platform where you can go and learn everything you need to know to build a dome like this and any type of structure that you want to build out of Super Adobe or Earthbag buildings. And it's now coming to fruition. We filmed every single day and every single major key aspect of building this dome over seven days at the workshop that we just ran here. And now it's my job to start editing it together and get it in a concise course format that's totally for free no hidden costs no paywalls nothing like that I just want to give it all away so if you want to be the first in line to watch all that stuff you can head to the beta version of our site which is schoolofsuperadobe.com and jump on the mailing list and you'll be the first to hear about when the course is ready when the first videos are released and be on the ground level of the new community that I really hope grows around this whole movement. I've got massive dreams for it, but just right for now, jump on there, share your email, and I'd love to hear from you and love to let you know when it's all coming. How cool is that? Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, make sure you get on his email list, but don't worry, Hayden is still here for a couple more weeks and we're going to be working on the dome and our roundhouse. That's right. House videos are back. Yes. We'll see you soon.